Yeah, um, so I read the story about the Muslim cleric saying that, in so many words, women's immodest dress cause earthquakes. Um, and it just shocked me as something ridiculous for someone to say, so I voiced my opinion on it and said, if that was true, we'd actually be able to test that scientifically by letting women dress immodestly for a day and seeing if it increases the amount of earthquakes. And uh, it started off just kind of as a sarcastic comment for readers on my blog, and it skyrocketed from there. I didn't expect that to happen at all. You have how many people, or women at least, participating? Um, the last I checked, just a couple hours ago, the Facebook event had 50,000 people participating and 200,000 still invited and hadn't responded yet. And it's it's going up very quickly, so I have no idea how accurate that is. And this is worldwide, nationally? Yeah, it's people all across the world. People are speaking languages I don't even know what they're speaking on the wall. <laughs> so it's everywhere, not just Indiana. Okay, did you ever expect it to explode like that? Not at all. Uh, I invited about 30 of my closest friends to the event, thinking that would be it. And people just kept inviting their friends, and it just, you know, um, um, snowball effect, I guess. <laughs> Okay, and this isn't, you know, run around completely naked, it sounds like. No, no, no. Um, I just, the thing is, uh, it's not to run around completely naked. Um, I'm just asking women to dress as immodestly as they feel comfortable to do. So uh, I'm not forcing people to dress any differently than they really were would be. We're just coordinating what you consider your most immodest outfit on the same day. And, I mean, even showing an ankle on, to some people would be immodest, so you can interpret that however you wish. Okay, and what do you plan to wear? Uh, I'm just gonna wear a tank top. I mean, I dress pretty modestly. Usually this is how I look. Um, so I'm just gonna probably have a low cut tank top and that's about it. Okay, <laughs> yeah. but you're saying, you know, low cut or short cut as far as the skirts and shorts? But Depending, yeah. if, whatever you feel comfortable with. Yeah, whatever you feel comfortable with, so. Okay, and you actually plan to do some scientific research to see um, if this has indeed caused more earthquakes. Yes, um, because I want to actually do good science um, to kind of counter the bad science that this cleric has, had performed. Um, so what I'm going to do is compare the frequency and the severity of the earthquakes on the 26th to earthquakes previous to that and see if there's a statistically significant difference. So we'll, we'll see if anything happens. <laughs> okay, and that's across the world or? Uh, across the world, yeah. Um, and you have a science background, it sounds like. Yes, yeah, so I'm majoring in genetics and evolution. I'm about to graduate in a couple of weeks. And you're in the School of Science? Yeah. Science. Science. All right. Um, all right, I'm trying to think what else. Have you, it sounds like you've come under a little bit of fire for this as well. Um, most, the vast majority of the response has been really positive, but there are a couple people who, um, when they read the initial post, they thought it was actually anti-feminist and that it was demeaning towards women. Um, but I just want to reiterate that I'm not forcing people to go out of the comfort zone. This is really just about embracing your body and dressing how you want to dress, not how someone tells you you should be dressing. So. And this was never really intended to be feminist, was it? It sounds like. Oh, well, I'm a feminist, so I think it's always going to happen that way. Um, I, I did have a message when I was doing it that we should stand up to these anti-science and anti-women statements, that they are hateful and somewhat ignorant. and. Um, I think a good way to do that is sometimes through humor, that if I would have seriously addressed him, I probably would have never gotten a response, but through light-hearted mockery can sometimes be a, a good tactic. Okay. <laughs> do you have a lot of uh, Purdue students, women, participating in this that you know of? Or? Uh, a lot of my friends are, and a lot of people I don't know just because people keep inviting each other, so okay. we'll see. Yeah. All right, so I mean, anybody walking around in something a little lower cut than normal might be participating, it sounds like. Yep, and I mean, part of the thing is that this is fairly normal for people, so you, you won't know who's participating who isn't because that's how it should be. It should be that you're allowed to wear that sort of outfit in public and not get a lot of flack for it, so it's not necessary to stand out, I guess, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> so when you first read this comment, what went through your mind? <laughs> when it... Oh, when I first read his comment? Um, sort of a mixture between annoyance and laughter, I guess. Um, I mean, people make these sort of comments all the time. Like Pat Robertson made a comment about the Haiti earthquake being because they had a deal with Satan, and Hurricane Katrina was because of gay people, and they're just ridiculous things said all the time. So, unfortunately, it's getting a little old, but I felt like I had to respond to this one just because it was science and uh, women involved. So. And when do you think you'll have your research? 
flesh. I'm sure it's not going to happen immediately because that's a lot to look into. And so. Yeah, um, I'm going to start looking into it over this weekend just to get my basic statistics ready. And either Monday night or Tuesday morning, I'm going to try to Can do something. <laughs> Can I get on the camp? Oh, not right now. Sorry. Okay, you can ride past. That's fine. Um, okay, so it sounds like it's going to be pretty intense in the research, though. Um, it's really not that. Well, there's a there's a database for all the earthquakes that occur on Earth, so I'm really just going to be taking some averages, and it really won't be too bad. Okay. <laughs> so, right. at least I hope not. <laughs> Maybe I'll need some help. All right. Anything else that we haven't touched on that might be important, or you want to add, or? Um. I guess I would just like to add that I recognize that this is um, sort of an extreme viewpoint that this cleric is taking. I don't think all religious people think this way, and um, this is just sort of a light-hearted approach. And there are plenty of, you know, religious, not religious people taking part in this, and it's more just a statement for science and women's rights than against any religion.